You'll know you're in Midilien, in the northwest tip of Cebu, when one site is filled with a vast view of sugarcane fields along the highway. Almost 60% of its land area of more than 7,400 hectares is composed of sugarcane plantations. These large-scale sugarcane cultivations in town came into existence in 1850, when an increase in the demand of sugar production prompted the need to cultivate more in Cebu, including Midilien. By 1860, the town became a prominent location for sugarcane cultivation and subsequently turned into a major center of sugar production as it produced 72,000 pickles alongside the Anbantayan and Bantayan Island, which produced only 73,000 pickles and 35,000 pickles respectively. Sugarcane cultivation thrived in Midilien because of the quality of its soil categorized as clay type. It was labeled to have the highest productivity rating for sugar cultivation along any soils in the Cebu Island. In 1928, the establishment of the Bogo Midelien Milling Company at Barangay Luya has helped the town earn its stature as the Sugar Bowl of Cebu. The Sugar Central Company is involved in the producing, refining, milling, and selling of sugar in the Philippines. But even before its operation started, the natives of Midilien has already immersed into sugar production by using an intusan, a traditional sugar-making instrument driven by a carabao, which converts sugarcane into brown sugar. The flourishing industry of sugarcane production in Midilien also wouldn't have been possible without the hard work done by the sugarcane cutters or locally known as tapaceros. They are the ones who plant and harvest sugar canes. Tapasero may dire karang timpo nating tapas na karang tinggaling kung mahuman na san mo tapas, mangguna na sa dimis kampo. Tina kanang kinampo na sad, guna na sad. Tapos human ang kanang kampo dagko nang tubo, tapos sad mig balik. Mo sa pangabuhi dire. Nay sa kung tanggong ang sintral, maabtan mi nga regla sa SGBI. Kung tanggong kun ang sintral madaot. Kung di mo daw ito sintal, may lang mo galing sa tubo, makuha na mong duha katrakan, o relax na saan mo. Kuta-kuta mami, 50 kabangan. Ay, nanay, magkargan mo. 50 kabungkos. Kung mahuman na mo nagkuta, mga alas, alas 10, alas 11, kargan nami. Duhag duha katrakan na. For after harvesting, the sugar canes are loaded into trucks and transported to the milling company. In the sugar mill, the harvested sugar canes are washed and cut into smaller shreds. The juice is extracted from these shredded stalks. The extracted juice will undergo a series of crystallization steps and centrifugation process to remove the liquid and produce crystals of sugar. Once the sugar has dried, it will be packed and ready for distribution. Aside from sugar production, the town now also offers products innovated from sugarcane. An example of this is the making of the tubu juice, a crowd favorite among visitors and locals alike. It's an uh, everyday fresh uh, harvest, okay? The way they take it from the farm and then they bring it to the store. Then we have the sugarcane machine to press the tubu juice and that it's freshly pressed in front of you, they can actually do it. Uh, so then they have think of something else to have like different uh, flavors for customers' choices. Then they have uh, thought of having the sugar, pure sugar cane and they have uh, also thought of um, sugar cane plus calamansi, then the cal uh, sugar cane with calamansi and ginger and actually the um, best seller is the tubu juice, calamansi, and yakult. That's the best seller which is really refreshing and that's my favorite as well. Mm. Yeah, uh, that's my favorite. And that's people, uh, whenever they try the uh, tubu juice with calamansi and yakult, and it's really sealing. One will try and then they will give it to their friends and uh, they all wanted to order exactly the same. Yes. That's all about, and we can find it from the 
Tubujus sugar cane kios uh, inside the Bombo Forest. Yes. At present, the town continues to revel on the continuing demand of the sugar industry, but hopes to create better opportunities and byproducts for its laborers and patrons.